What's going on YouTube? Come in this video we're going to be going over the games with gold for September. Green pulled up with the games with gold and either be letting their But for some reason they still have August game. I'm not going to click on it if We'll go over the games real quick. Which are the Blob 2 and Books The Book of Unwritten Tales 2. So the other game is a Xbox old Xbox. But for the achievements rise for the Blob 2, however you say it. It is a thousand gamer score, two thousand five hundred sixty-two true achievements with twenty-five achievements. Uh, buggy achievements, which are to finish the game without any upgrades and find the required pickups in all levels. Those are both marked as buggy. But again, uh, only twelve thousand people have the game, and eight hundred eleven have completed it. So it's about a seven percent completion ratio. And it is again 15 to 20 hours. The next one is the Book of Unwritten Tales 2. Um, it is a thousand gamer score, 2,093 true achievements, has 50 achievements, 15 to 20 hours uh, for completion. There are quite a few missable achievements because I believe they go along with the storyline, uh, but they are also secret. So whenever you're going through this, you probably want to follow. Some sort of guide or look up those achievements directly from True Achievements and find a video for them. Again, there are 50 achievements, so quite a few achievements in this one game. Um, but right now, it'd be $19.99 if you wait to get it. Of course, it's free. Uh, it has a 14% completion percentage. for So, 14% of people who've played it have completed the whole game on True Achievements. Um, I've actually been looking at these games, but I would probably get the first one and then play this one. But again, it's 15-20 hour completion, so it's not too bad uh, if you're looking for something. But the next game is going to be quite longer of a completion. Tom Clancy's The Division. It is a thousand gamer score, and it has roughly 18 to 1800 to 2000 true achievement. There's three DLCs, which kind of make it kind of weird to figure out what the ratio is and all of that. But with some quick math. Uh, it's around 1,800 to 2,000. Uh, there are 65 achievements for the whole game if you buy DLCs. Without the DLC, it is 50 achievements. Um, the DLCs have 15 achievements worth 450 gamer score. Of course, you'll have to pay for those, but if you're looking to, if you like this game and would like to play more of it, there you go. I actually have the version uh, that. I don't believe I have the DLCs. I started this game a while back, uh, right before the second one came out, but I didn't play too much of it. But it was a lot of fun. I just, the second one came out and just switched over to that. So it is a 60 to 80 hour completion. 4,292 have completed it, so 2% have completed it. Uh, but this game, actually, I will be playing, and I see a lot of sessions still come up for it. So if you're looking for achievements in it, I'm sure you'll find someone some people to do it with it does have about four or five buggy achievements in it um and those achievements are equip 10 different skill mods activate 63 echo scenes activate at level 30 starting complete co-op missions without being downed or dying so those are and then also finish all the missions at level 30 on hard difficulty those are all buggy for some reason um so just be aware of that if you do decide to do them but anyways, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Uh, I will be coming back Friday with a bunch of NBA videos. Uh, it's what my channel does a lot of is NBA related stuff on True Achievements and on YouTube. So I will be posting a couple videos about uh, getting whatever their GOAT collector level achievement is and things of that nature. Um, someone I know actually was the first person to unlock the achievement. Had a free copy of the game, and we've been talking about it, and we're wondering if they, they say they're going to let you transfer your cards over from one game to the next, but if you're going for the achievements, I would pick one console and probably work on it on there, because if they do let you do it, then of course getting it on Xbox One and transferring them all over will be amazing.
But if not, then you're going to end up wasting your time on one system or the other. But I'll get into that later with that video. But thanks for watching. Let me know if you're going to be playing any of these games. If so, uh, please comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And send me some messages on Xbox. Uh, I've had about 20 people this month message me and like my videos and all that. So that's been nice to see. But again.